Okay, now we want to find the vector's magnitude or how long the vector actually is. Now here is a drawing again. We're assuming that we have a position vector starting from zero, zero. We're going to go this way in the A, a direction, that's the horizontal direction. We're going to go up uh, B. If I want to find out how long this is, actually we can still use the Pythagorean theorem in order to find out how long that side is. So I would have V squared equals A squared plus B squared, that's my Pythagorean theorem. I would take the square root of both sides, and I would get V and that equals, now I'm not going to worry about getting a negative value here, I want to find out how long something is, so I want to make that just positive. Now. I get this. Now there's a notation that we're going to use to indicate the vector's magnitude and here's what the notation is. What I have is I have a set of kind of looks like double absolute values in a way, so double lines, but that's the notation that we're going to use to indicate the vector's magnitude. So if they're asking you to find the magnitude of a certain vector, all you're going to do is put the two components in here, take the square root, and then that's going to be your answer. So now let's look at a couple examples. Here's our first example v equals 3i minus 4j, we want to find the magnitude of v. Just gave you the formula for that. The formula involves that square, the square root of a squared plus b squared. In this case, the a is always the, the number that comes in front of the i, b comes in front of the j. So if you want to find the magnitude of v, all we're going to do is put it into the formula, the square root of a squared plus b squared, 3 squared, and then you have plus negative 4 squared. Your magnitude of V is equal to the square root of 9 plus 16 is going to give you 25. And then when we work that out, you get the magnitude of V is equal to uh, 5. Now there's only no units on here, so you don't have to put any units on your answer. So basically when we draw that angle out, this is basically how long it is. Uh, and this might be um, representative of maybe some force. Maybe you have 3 pounds uh, going horizontally and 4 pounds going down. Your final result will be 5 pounds, that's how strong the whole thing would be uh, moving down. So now we look at this example, let's do one more. Next example, 6i plus 3j is what we're given. Once again, we want to find uh, the magnitude. Okay, so uh, this, the 6 is a, the 3 is going to be b. We put it into our formula, magnitude of v, we have the square root, a squared plus b squared, 6 squared plus 3 squared. And we're going to simplify inside. We get 36 plus 9. That's the square root of 45. Square root of 45 can be broken down further. That can be written as 9 times 5. The square root of 9 is 3. So if you can break down the square root more, you do want to do that because especially if you're using an online homework grading system, it's going to expect your answer to be broken down uh, like this. So this would be your final answer, 3 square root of 5.